You guys, look who's here! It's Benny and I'm super excited to be finally filming this video with him because in it you will find out everything about his perfume collection because right here we have a very special lineup of his fragrances so you keep on watching to find out everything about them But first don't forget to subscribe, give us a huge thumbs up if you like to see more of us and we see you after the intro That's right Say hello and welcome everyone to another video of us together. It's the second one in 2023. No, no it's, the first one. it's the first one. It's oh first my one. god. So welcome to the first video of us together in 2023. Thank you so much for coming on my channel and sharing your fragrances with everyone because Benny is not necessarily that perfume obsessed person, right? Not at all actually, mm -hmm. but he has quite a lot of fragrances for someone like that and that's yes. all because of me, of course. Yeah. Sure. So Benny, how many fragrances do you own? Don't look at them, what would you say? 24. Oh, okay, so definitely keep on counting and yeah, uh, let us know by the end of the video if he was right or wrong. But you guys, uh, let's get started, Benny. I will be just, you know, without any okay. particular order, reaching you some fragrances. For example, the first one we are starting with is the one by Duo Fragrances. It's kind of like a clone brand that's called Casino Royale Fire. And do you want to tell us something about it? Because um, so, uh, well, you didn't called... really... Choose, it's called, choose no, it, I no, just no, gave it yes, to you. <laughs> that's right, this is a perfume that I didn't choose. It was a time a couple of years ago that Jana um, um, had some of these. Yeah, uh, I had quite a few, and, like around And I think you 10. also uh, did a video on all these perfumes? Yes, yes, that's right. I picked okay. up my favorites and the rest I gave to Benny yeah. because they were too strong for me, like yeah. this one, for yeah, example. Yeah, they're really strong. They're a little bit oh, yeah. in my opinion, Woo! and this is a reason why I don't use it that often, actually. Well, quite. not bad, not bad. Not that often, really, not that often, and um, yeah, it, it, like you said, it's, it's a dupe, it's a dupe of... Of Baccarat Rouge, is and this the Baccarat I Rouge believe one? maybe okay. some other fragrance, it was like a hybrid uh, one yes. from this series when they blend together multiple fragrances, but this is like Baccarat Rouge in your face, Swedish, um, like this... I have to feel that, that, that you, that you uh, gave it me, uh, to me in the summer, wasn't it? Could in be. Summer, I think it was in summer and there was also a second one. Why do you I'm associate sure it all... with the summertime? Yes, I do bit. have it. So. Oh, Rosa Poseidon. That's definitely a blend of two and I believe it's a Bentus. And uh, one of my favorite perfumes by Mancera uh, with the rose. So this is for <laughs> me very summery because you used to yep. wear it a lot when it was hot. So you yes. can see how much he used it up. And I love yeah. it. For me, it's like... Oh, it's a it's, dream. It's, it's delicious. It's, it's it um, very strong at the beginning. It you is. just spray it and <laughs> the whole room is filled with it. Yeah. Um, not like other perfumes that we came later to, but mm -hmm. uh, it's it's it might be annoying for people around okay. you if they don't like have, the scent. Have you ever gotten any complaints about it? You have never know. told me anything about it, but I don't know. it's extremely juicy. It's like just imagine mm -hmm. that juicy part of Aventus with heavy but fresh musky rose of uh, Mancera. That's kind of if you if they had a baby together, and it's this Rosa Poseidon. Very nice for summertime. At least you used to wear it uh, back then. So yes. uh, let's move on to another couple. Well, these are also from the same brand. Zara fragrances, more recent so, ads to your collection. Yeah, I, I think in the, the newest ads to my collection Could actually. Uh, I'm not even sure right now how they smell. Let's it's spray called, them in there. It's called Rich Warm Addict. <laughs> No, it's, it's the name. The, yeah. Yeah, it's the name, isn't it? Uh, no, um, it's just like a description. Both are from the tobacco collection and I'm not quite sure about the difference. But it, yeah, exactly. It's intense, dark, uh, exclusive. exclusive. And yes. this, and this is, is which one addictive. Yeah, and this has like golden paint, uh, like, you know, letters. letters. And this is a silver. Um, Yes, I, I, oh, did, I like this did, one better. I, I think I just sprayed them once, so I'm right now I'm not sure. And even through the description, I would say this one is more a vanillic one. Yep. 
It does, but it's quite fresh too, like a masculine perfume, you know, there is some freshness in there. Yeah, just in the air, not on me. I have other fragrances oh, I want to spray this me. is different. This is a bit more like Swedish and seductive and right? It's like, uh, yeah, rich, warm. I liked both of them in the shop, so I thought I will just buy them for Benny and gifted you them on the Christmas Eve. So I would say this is definitely more like a gourmand dessert, quite delicious sugary fragrance. And yeah, you like sugary is good. Sugar yeah. is good. Do you good. smell yes. that I like thought about caramelized? Yes, and I was thinking about what could it be, what could it be, and right, it's sure. more like my right? sugar, yes. Yeah. yes. Benny loves gourmand perfumes. You, you will see like a few very yes. interesting Swedish fragrances, right? You're not into Super like aquatics or oh, it, 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 sometimes it depends. It depends. Yes, we yes, have we, one. We will yeah. see. And, yeah, but we'll uh, see. can you tell guys if you like have a favorite type of perfume or like your least favorite? Which kind of fragrance okay, you don't my, like? My uh, least yeah. favorite perfume. Is tell us. Perfume that's. I know. That smells I know. green. Yes, green. I know okay. what it is. It's and they actually gifted him one green perfume. We have because she doesn't green know. is 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 a color and not a scent, so it's. Uh, uh, might not not even hard to describe, but but like like grassy perfumes yeah, or or say. herbal perfumes, maybe a little bit um, um, not moody, um, dirt, not dirty, uh, at a yeah, rody and uh, earthy. Earthy, earthy. Is I, me, me neither. I, I, don't I, don't like I don't like them. I don't like them either. That. But this yes. we like both. It was one of the first perfumes I bought for you, right? We can spray it. On no, we don't have to spray light. it because um, you don't have much. <laughs> I guess I have don't, don't don't have much left, and I use this one actually yeah. from um it's he from Aporo Armani, and classic. I, I'm using this literally all the time. Yeah, it's every a great day. All around your right. It's it's the perfume that I'm wearing at my back to work. Okay, he has it in his backpack. Always. Yeah. So I'm I'm using it every day. And the best part about it is. It's suitable for any occasion, like you cannot go wrong with it. So my advice for you is in case you don't know which fragrance to buy in the shop and you don't want to break, break the bank because it's not that expensive, go for it. It's not the most long lasting perfume, but it's a gentleman like fragrance. Oh my God, now I smell it and it's so good. You guys get it. It's fantastic. You want to add something or we I, I don't have to move add on some, to something? It's already for, for I think, yeah, people eight know years. About it. 10 years. And it has been around for like 20 or 25. Yes, but, but I'm using it. Yeah. I... Uh, earlier I used to wear um, Jean Paul Gaultier. <laughs> Which all one? The time. And, and uh, Le, Mal. Le, Mal. Le Mal. Until you and met me literally yes. when we met, what yes. did I tell you? It's crap. <laughs> yes, Jana don't like this perfume. Doesn't. Doesn't. And uh, yeah, so, so so she said, okay, try something else. There is, for example, this one or another one that's in my collection, and maybe you will give me that one first before you're giving me this one. Oh, which yeah. one? Tell me. This one. Oh yeah, okay, so I have actually a surprise for Benny and wanted to ask him if he still remembers Explorer because I... there is nothing left, he used it up. Yes. And I bought it for him, like blindly. He didn't know, oh, oh. Used up, you drops. see? Um, wow. we, we also have a review on this one, it's right, it's, uh, th th that was my um, work perfume earlier before. <laughs> and a lot of this guys one. asked you about it, I remember yes. you you told yes. me, well, well today another colleague asked me about this fragrance. And I still like the, 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 the bottle, it's a uh, like classic belt, shape right? and it's like from a seat belt, yeah, yeah. I like the grip of this bottle, it's, it's amazing. But as and Ben said, after, we have a review on it. After this one finished. Jana bought me another one. It's called um, uh, Explore Intense. No, uh, not blue intense. Blue or like blue. It's, it's I like the, the same shape of the bottle, but with a blue yeah. seat belt. And they're completely and different in the scent. They're, they're different in the scent, right? But but still aquatic. easy to wear for every occasion. Mm -hmm. a, a little bit more aquatic. Yep. A little bit more, you know, breezy, oceanic, like with this typical masculine aquatic accord. But I prefer the original one. Yes. That's another great all rounder. It also projects really well. That's why I think people notice it. So, once again, if you don't know what to buy in the shop, go for this. It's a compliment getter. It is pretty affordable and it's quite similar to Aventus, kind of in this similar. Mm -hmm 
fruity, woody style and I smell something chocolatey in there which makes it also very attractive. So yeah, with that being said, now we are done with explorers. Okay, Let's talk about something a bit more creative. Let's explore something else. Yeah, this is Blue Matcha by Montal. I got it as a gift uh, when I ordered like two bigger bottles of their website because I love doing that and just, you know, checking out something new and I was really excited about this perfume. I sprayed yes. on me and it was just a little bit too masculine for me at first. I liked it a lot, but then I was like, hmm, many, maybe it's gonna be better on Benny. And anytime he wears it, oh my god, I compliment him. I just love it on him because it's like this amazing fresh fragrance that is not too leafy as a lot of um, green and tea fragrances can be. There is like this dusty and powdery note of matcha, but it smells just amazing and I love it. And it's different than many other masculine perfumes. That's right, it's different. And I, <laughs> um, I also um, had it in my bag a couple times, mm -hmm. and I spread it on some colleagues just to ask them about the perfume, how they think, mm -hmm. if they liked it or not. And it was really hard to to, to even understand. Okay. Okay. So 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 they're they're not uh, that enthusiastic as we are, mm -hmm. but they didn't really understand what what's inside, mm -hmm. and. Um, it, it was no, okay, it, it's a no-go because mm -hmm. they, like, they, right. they, 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 they they weren't like that, but they also didn't like it, so okay. it was... It's only for yeah. us, for <laughs> connoisseurs, or what's the world, or what word is for that? But yeah, it's a great, like, know. more underground Montal fragrance, and I so love it. Okay, Benny, just give me the perfumes before everything drops. You drop her, you fucking thing <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. She's just, a dropper. Let's just She's move on. Yeah, Don't I am. Don't her. Here. Noodle soup. I will spray it in your mouth. No, oh no. So shut up. It's a uh, clone. Clone for the or <laughs> Ambre Nuit. Let's not talk much about it. I just, I was like, okay, it has two masculine uh, beginning. It's lovely, gemmy amber fragrance. Do you wear it often? Um, I'm not quite I, sure. No, I, I, I think I sprayed it once or twice. I uh, yeah. don't even remember. What I do, I spray it in, um, you know, just um, on Benny's closing. So next day yes. it smells nice. So, yeah. yeah. Not necessarily the most worn fragrance, but anytime he wears this. Yes. And I would say this is like a, a level up for your collection. The dry down is. You will be followed by people. Yes. Uh, we are talking about Fig Noir by like an amazing uh, brand Ubiyong. I'm probably mispronouncing the name, I'm so sorry for that. The bottle is really nice. The fragrance, I will be spraying it on yeah, you, maybe on the back. It's, okay. it's very strong, it's powerful. More yes. masculine, like with that, you know, very solid scent, opens, very aromatic, slightly herbaceous, but I wouldn't say it's like too old fashioned. So there is like very well balanced uh, opening and dry down. That yes, the dry down is, is amazing. amazing. It's absolutely amazing. That's right. I, I also used to um, spray it on my clothes the, the evening before. Mm -hmm. Because but even that Diana sprays it, I smell it, and I take the bottle and spray it a second time, <laughs> just for the next day. It's, it's really amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, I would say if you are more like classy guy and you really want to level up your collection, just get it. It's amazing. It is fantastic. And it's quite long lasting because I yes. remember a few days you came home from work like after 10, 12 hours I could still smell it, which was great, you know. That's amazing quality. And talking about great quality, one of my most favorite niche brands, Paris Monte Carlo and their Betiba perfume. This is probably the most masculine note for me. I was really intrigued with this fragrance and let's just spray it in yes. the air, maybe. And um, yeah, I loved it a lot, but it was just a little bit too masculine for me, so I passed it on and uh, Benny is not fond of it. However, we keep it in his collection and sometimes I do spray it on his clothing in the evening because in the dry down I feel like it's, it gets softer a little bit and is that's for more wearable, but what would you say? <laughs> uh, I think you're right, it's, it's really strong, it's in my opinion also really uh, ma masculine and, mm -hmm. and, and dirty it is and quite like heavy mm -hmm. and it's like, a, yeah, like we said earlier, it's not my, 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 
my favorite Most perfume. Warm. Yes, but um, yeah, I think I also sprayed this one just once at myself, and that was all because. Yeah, you know. I would say like if you are a man, you love wet fever, check it out because in the dry down it gets amazing and is a bit similar to their sandalwood perfume. But Benny, let's move on to something that you have worn a couple of times. Yeah, okay, so uh, we are here uh, <laughs> at Zenico from uh, Kanto. Yeah, and then I will tell the story. How we discovered it. Or do you want to tell the story? I thought I will tell the story. Yes! So you can, you can talk story. about the perfume, about the scent, and I will talk about the story. Okay. But I'm sure you can correct my story because I always forget yeah, a okay. lot of things. Let's, but let's, okay. let's just... Yes, yeah, yeah, let's start with the story. So exactly. um, a couple years ago we went to an exhibition. It was I our think first it was the first exhibition Exons. in Exons, Milan, uh -huh. uh, in the year that's hard to add in. I don't know. No, okay. And um, this was the first time for us. And everything was new. And, and, and so many perfumes. I was in heaven. Not, not even so many perfumes. It was like the, the, the first time going on, on such such a um, um, event. Event. And we went inside, and it was this yeah well big hall, and, and the entrance, the big entrance, and all the people, all these guys. And then you, you pass because they have always the booth at the beginning. Mm -hmm, at the entrance. Mm -hmm. At the entrance. And it was the first impression Who? of... Who? Quinto Canto. Yes. Terenzi. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it was the first impression of this event inside. And, and it, it was amazing. It was just overwhelming. And we saw these perfumes. But we were a little bit scared because it looks very... Very nice and and and, and there were a lot of them. Yeah, you know how many fragrances there, there, they have. There were a lot of perfumes. There were a lot of people in front of these perfumes, and we said, okay, this looks amazing. But first, we have to to go once through Proving. all of them mm -hmm. because we have to see what what else is there. And I think it was at the, at the end of um, Exons. Mm -hmm. No, of, of the day was it the end of the I day? I don't remember. Oh, and we went back and we went there and we sprayed it and I think just Jana stood there and sprayed it and I was uh, beside and then Jana passed me and uh, not passed me, came to me and said Benjamin, come on and try this one. <laughs> it smells amazing, you'll like it. Exactly, well, yes. long story short, after this whole run through so many fragrances, I came back to Quinto Canto spray these fragrances. I believe it was the year Arsenico, which is kind of fragrance mm -hmm. that is fresher and juicier take on this Avento style came out and I was like, okay, this Benny will enjoy because like he's overwhelmed by such a month of fragrances and when he sprayed it and smelled it he was like yeah it's amazing and he has a bottle and he wore it a lot for special occasions because it's quite a bold fragrance it makes a bold statement and it's great so yeah you have already heard us talking about that fragrance lots of times if you're looking for a very potent avento style fragrance check it out the bottle is amazing but let's talk about another all-time favorite of all yours favorite. we have already spoken about Paris dogs by uh, 2162 days. Yeah, and let's keep it short and sweet. Yeah. This is not the best opening, but very best. No, it is a very, very, in my opinion, it's a very chemical opening. It's um, kind of itchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but after a couple minutes. And you know it, why you don't like it? There is petty grain, and it's like the grassiest green note ever. Can be aggressive. Might be. Okay. And <laughs> after a couple minutes, the dry down is getting so good. Violets! Like, like, kind of like yeah. candy violets and Benny loves candies and he loves violets. We are going to be talking about violets a bit more. Benny? Yeah, we're going to talk about add? violets. No, no, there's nothing else to add. It was a, it's a very great perfume. I love this one, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, so it it is time for magic. <laughs> one of the newer <laughs> discoveries that we found at PT last year and mm -hmm. when we saw the bottle of course, we are like, yeah, what a beauty. Then we smelled it and it's just phenomenal. Can I spray it on myself because yes, it's so it good and it's unisex and I wanted it too, but when Benny loves fragrance as much as it does uh, love this one, 
like no questions he can keep it so Benny yeah, um, I, I think this was talk the, about the, the, the Antar most... Alhas uh, Ma Magic that's the name of the Fred Rains I think this was the most stunning battle uh, on this exhibition maybe because of, of the um, of the colors because yeah you, you know just this painting if, if you just turn your bottle it seems to look yeah, different it's like a in light hmm? it's kind of like a chameleon it's Kind of like, no, not really like a chameleon, but you know. And, um, and the cap is so, so, so good. So, so we saw it, we tried it, <gasps> and I loved it. It's like yeah. oriental dessert, beautiful lacum, juicy chocolate. I know it's strange, juicy chocolate, but it is. It's like fresh and maybe even fruity, and it is candied. It's chocolatey, it's delicious, it's yummy. Literally, when Benny wears them, like, you smell so good, right? Like, I, yeah. I want to go grab the bottle and spray myself with it. So, uh, what Yana actually <laughs> did, it's my perfume. Okay. And Yana took it from my collection because it <laughs> said you're spraying it too much and took it to her collection. And yeah, it, it was a while that I uh, sprayed it. <laughs> so, so, you have a chance. You want to spray it? Come on, just, you have I'm something else you probably want to smell yes. and spray because one I also keep it in my collection because it's one. bloody expensive. And once again, when Benny loves perfume as much as he does, for example, Louis by Guerlain, that was such pain in the ass to find That's overall. Uh, yeah, empty. he uses them up. He's not like me saving no. it. No, Benny is like, whatever, yes. let's have fun. Yeah, right, because perfume is too. To, to, to wear from yes, I, other people that they can smell I it. absolutely agree or with you. Let's know. talk about Louis fragrance okay. that I was so excited about when it was first launched by Guerlain, first unisex perfume from them. And then I've already sprayed it on you. No, and man, then I've been, the I've been looking for it, literally calling up all the stores who carried this line. <laughs> and then when it appeared that uh, there, we loved it both. And yes. it took me years to buy it. <laughs> Only after they discontinued it, I was like, Panicking, and once they, once it dropped again in the shop, I was like, whatever, take my money, give me this fragrance that smells like I don't know, it's like the smoky, it's very smoky, balsamic, sweet, powdery, sweet, powdery. You call it, you name it. It's it's a classic Louis. <laughs> no, it's, it's really if no good. one has ever smelled it, how <laughs> yeah, will they a... know? <laughs> it's like a little bit of candied pear. Like it's... think about pear with honey, pear with smoke, pear with uh, some balsamic, uh, juicy, delicious powderness. Powderness. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's just it's just good. It's it, 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 overall. I would say it's a sweet perfume. And a powdery perfume. Yep. Um, but like so elegant. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not it's, like it's, edible it's gourmand at all. So well blended. Yeah. One of a kind. There is yes, nothing is. quite like it. The only fragrance that I smelled was similar to it is one by um, Sylvain de la Corde. But um, yeah, anyway. Okay, move on. Let's move on to these perfumes that were one of the first fragrances that I purchased after I started my YouTube channel because I love this brand Fillet. Um, mm -hmm. Now they expanded their line, all of their fragrances are inspired by different destinations and yes. uh, this was the original collection that consists out of three perfumes. Yeah. I think the third you used up or whatever, but sure. these are amazing tobacco fragrance that is just like, honestly, when I smell this perfume, I don't know what is in there, but it does something to my brain. It smells phenomenal, mm -hmm. woody, not too aggressive and harsh tobacco. I love it. Würzig, um, spicy. Spicy. In my opinion, it's also really? a little bit spicy. Yeah. You guys, if you want like make ladies go crazy about you, it's not even that expensive. Get it. It works. It's fantastic. But another very sexy fragrance, completely different, is this Bali. It yeah. smells of uh, sexual jasmine. Jasmine is kind of like aphrodisiac, if we want to believe that. And when Benny wears it, and yeah, he yeah. used to wear it a lot in the summer, it's empty oh. actually. Okay, I have actually a bottle, but he doesn't wear it, so I wanted to take your original bottle. Yeah, that's okay, bottle. that's okay. Mm -hmm. Sexual, floral, great on men, and there are not a lot of those. So yeah, if you want to drive ladies crazy, get these two fragrances, or if you're a lady and you want to drive yourself crazy, or a man, just get it. 
However, I was driven crazy by this fragrance. Yes. I first thought it's unisex, but then it was marketed towards men. I was like, Tom Ford, Noir Extreme Parfum, bottle, stunning. And when I started wearing it, I was like, yeah, it's a little bit too masculine. So that was another um, Christmas gift for Benny. Sorry for that, not the best sprayer, but an amazing fragrance. And thanks God, Benny loved it because I purchased it yes. for, you know, quite, qu quite something. It's also uh, it's smoky and sweet. Um, it's, it's very it's, textural. It's a fantastic, Extremely yes. complex. Lots of spices, uh, some sweetness. Do you know what what what, what the sweet well, note well, 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 is? No, no, no. Coffee. What? Does anyone know what coffee is? It's an exotic dessert. I believe it comes from India, and I guess we have uh, tasted it in one of the Indian restaurants. It's like thicker, maybe even pudding. I'm not sure, but you okay. know, like this uh, Indian yeah, I, I know style what you mean, with cardamom and stuff. Uh, okay, well, there are like there, base, yeah, they, base they, notes, leather, suede, woods, but there is like this vanilla coffee. It's, it's like uh, turning all the all yeah. around all, all the time. You, you can't really yeah, it get what it changes. It changes a lot. And yeah, I, I really like this and um, yeah, Jana took it very fast for me because she saw the same <laughs> like with the other two perfumes that I'm well, using that, that it too fast. Well, that puts me in very, very uh, negative light that I'm taking away all of your fragrances. I really need to keep your rotation. Stop you know? taking my perfumes. Another all-time favorite yes. that uh, we both own and Benny used up 1969. Yeah, sexy, sexy, 1969. Sexy. Uh, almost, um, almost, I would say, provoking gourmand. There is yep. um, spicy peach in there and bittersweet chocolate. This is uh, a killer. If you overspray this, uh, people will smell it. Oh, I, I, I have just done that, so I will mm -hmm. smell it all mm -hmm. day long, the next yes. day, and probably... Uh, the day after tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, if you like that kind of vibe, you will enjoy this. Yes, it's, it's started in Ukraine, if I'm not wrong. Uh, huh? I, I, I'm not. No. I sprayed myself with it in Ukraine, and might, then we were might, gifted might the be, bottle at Exxon. I, I was uh, very fascinated of the packaging. Um, it's over there, actually. Oh. You can get it for a moment. And the packaging, I like the packaging. It, it's like that's uh, mine. That's mine. Okay. It's oh, like. Oh. Okay, this is yours. Yep. So we change. You can keep this one that you keep uh, taking away okay. from me, and I will get another one. Uh, that's one. cool. Nineteen sixty-nine. Yeah, that's right? cool. That, that's the trade. Only and that's There's always he wants a, it. a little history about this perfume, and um, no, I'm just joking. It's history. The perfumes. This is the um, the brand. And I have a full line over you, just in case you're wondering about this yes. brand. You want to find out more? Check out my review. The, the most that I like is you, you. You you can sit in a row and pretend to read something. <laughs> or if you have like you have a shelf to do. at home and you have a couple of these fragrances, you could yeah, put you can store them like that and it looks like a book, fun. you know. Oh, okay. great idea! Let's keep it right here. All right, but with that being said, I have something here that actually stood out to me first, and then I suggested Fleur de Patchouli by Zara to Benny. It was pretty mm -hmm. here because it's lovely. Here, okay, Thank you. Benny, your part because. My Look, okay. Benny loves and wears yeah. his fragrances. Not yeah, like I love and wear this. That's right. <laughs> I love and wear my fragrances, and they keep disappearing from my shelf. Um, That's so, only way they can survive. <laughs> it was like uh, the first perfume from Zara that 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 you gave me. The collaboration with the Jo Malone. Yes. That line. And mm -hmm. um, we, we went to, to 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 the store. And I was like, hmm, yes. Benny. It smells. It doesn't smell, smell bad. In your, Try it. No, in your in your style, I was like, because yeah. it's like Benny has like a very soft soft spot in his heart or whatever. Look, I don't know which fragrance left the stain. But I can it, tell you. Yeah, which one? I can tell you. Ah, uh, no. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Where? Uh, anyway, you guys, <laughs> Benny loves um, these delicate fragrances. He so, loves sometimes. Them. It depends. Sometimes, yeah. It depends. But, but it's like this delicate, Actually, beautiful, kind of like calm perfumes. I'm, I'm so good. I'm, I'm so, so good. calm. Yes. Just wear me, take me home. That kind of fragrance. <laughs> that kind of fragrance. And that and Florida patchouli counts to it. Yeah, so it's not too patchouli, -ish, okay? It's like as no, if no. patchouli had a flower. That that maybe is the scent, but it's not heavy yeah, it patchouli. Be. It's not like heavy patchouli. It's not patchouli to me. It's 
If it's patchouli, then it's like ultra modern patchouli. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, another fragrance that, of course, uh, Benny received because of his amazing girlfriend uh, that has a beautiful taste uh, is a mellow heliotrope from. <laughs> <laughs> I will introduce her later. <laughs> 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 it's uh, I'm sorry. it's from Beyond the Collection by yes. Bentley. Extremely luxurious. Just look at this yes, bottle. I love to rave about this line because I've smelled three fragrances from it so far, and all of them are the bomb. So this mellow heliotrope um, is a nice follow up to Florida Pachula because it's a beautiful, delicate, a bit stronger, but yet so like. Um, peaceful type of perfume. Mm, spray spray? Oh, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have here raspberry, we have here musk, we have here heliotrope. It's actually more on the feminine side, but sometimes Benny really loves wearing more feminine perfumes and they smell they're, they're great on them. Feminine, they are like more sex. feminine style. Yeah, yeah, maybe more, more yeah, yeah, like, 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 I like uh, also soapy perfumes. Sweet, so he calls them soapy, call but soapy, they're not soapy. But they're not soapy, it's because of one ingredient that they use, I think. I don't know, but like this, this vibe for me, it's, it's so fresh. Okay, for me, it's more fruity and powdery, <laughs> and almost like a, I don't know, hug of your mom type of fragrance. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's crazy, but uh, the fragrance is nice. Yeah, the fragrance is really and nice. And it performs like a niche perfume, you know? Like great quality, stunning sillage. Benny wears, I know what he and wears. Longevity. Longevity, yeah. Yes. And it's delicate. It's not like a Absolutely. beast mode. In your no. face, it will overwhelm the rest. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not like that. But it stays strong. So let's talk about something more in that style. Dream C. I could not wear it myself, so I passed it on to Benny and told him to wear it just at work. Yeah, where are more people, more room, like room, because Lorenzo Pazzaglia creates beast mode fragrances, and yes, I love that. Strong. But this one is too masculine for yes. me. I will spray it on your jeans. You okay? don't Sorry. Spray. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. Kind of like more um, summery and I don't know, <clears throat> musky, fresh, aquatic vanilla. How would you describe? You wear yeah, it. I don't know. It works. I, I wear it a couple of times. Um, I don't know actually how to describe it. Um, but I remember. Modern vanilla. It was like last year, wasn't it? Yeah. It was also a very new perfume. Extra de parfum. So it's like mm. uber strong. Yeah. It is. And I, I love when Benny wears stronger perfumes to work because there are so many people and sometimes he comes home and I can smell someone else. So if he wears a very strong fragrance, that just makes him smell the strongest. Does that make sense? That, that makes said? sense. Yes, yes, that makes sense. Let's just continue with working yeah, yeah, yeah. fragrances. Okay, come on. Yeah? Continue. Uh, this is not as strong, called Signature Blue by El Hermey. And it's one of those, uh, you know, typically mm. masculine perfumes, such a freshy, very easy to understand and to wear, and not, a, um, not, not uh, complicated at all, mm -hmm. no brainer. Mm -hmm. And you got it's some questions like about it? it? People, remember, people asked you no, about it? No, no. Uh, oh, yes, yes, actually one, one colleague asked, um, it was at uh, Bauma. Bauma. Oh, at, it was the exhibition. It was the exhibition. More like technical and, for... Yeah, for... for um, yeah. Construction site yeah. vehicles, for example. It's a very big um, Messe mm -hmm. in, in Germany every three years, I think. And yes, and the, and the colleague asked me what perfume I use uh, because he liked the smell of it. And yeah, no prayer, him, very like easy going, easy to understand. Uh, yes, right. And, and I showed him also, um, where is it? But they're different. <laughs> Remind, they're, they're different because we, we, I started to, to tell a little bit about perfumes and I, and I had these two. In yeah. my backpack in, at this yeah. time because I'm always wearing this, <laughs> and, and I, I tried this out, and so um, yeah, it was we a successful it, trial. And he also said that this one is better for his mm. personal opinion yeah. because uh, it's more more in his more style. in his style. Yes, okay. yeah, but and I it would be in the style of many people. So yeah, 
It's like they're, a, they're both easygoing perfumes. Yeah, and if you want to find out more about um, this fragrance, we have uh, a review with Benny on both of these. But yes. uh, we don't have many fragrances left. I want mm -hmm. to go on with the Mists of Time. It's a new addition to your collection. You used it. Um, in the summer more yes. because it's a very summery, very fruity. fruity to the point so you'll be like, whoa! Bubble gum pineapple wow, fruits. Wow, wow, wow. Something like that. Um, that candied that, orange, mandarin, black currant, patchouli, birch, and mineral yeah, notes. You guys, pineapple, it's another fragrance that Benny can put on in the morning, go to work, and when he comes home it's much later, I can still smell it yes. really well and yes. give him a compliment. So, yes. uh, Gallagher is but, great for that, you know, like great performance mm -hmm. overall, because it's his goal to deliver fragrances that smell but, all day long. I, I, actually, no one ever asked me about this one. Oh, so, I think maybe it's not that projecting. But long lasting. But long lasting. Okay. Well, maybe I, I'm just so used to it because I wear it too. I have a bottle myself because I really, really love it. Um, so, yeah, but I love it on you. You always get compliments from me. Anyway. Okay, last one? No. Anyway, Surprise! fragrance that uh, Benny doesn't wear <laughs> often, doesn't get many compliments for. I love on him, but he is not the biggest fan of. Uh, Shark Skin by DSH that I bought for a lot of money because I thought it will be a very lovely fragrance for Benny to wear because it's like this ethereal light. Um, yeah, slightly, I don't know. I will spray it on me. Yeah, I'm, spray it on me. I will go a bit heavier because this fragrance needs some love. No? It's something that I tried it, it, to make Benny to wear because it was limited edition. And yeah, thought, it's something come that on. Yeah, tries me to wear, and I'm um, actually I also used it a couple of times. But yeah, not bad. <laughs> it's it's not my biggest favorite because it's more on the like there are, there are some herbal notes in there. Maybe there are, that why there are, um, that's why you're a little bit yes. uh, confused. It, and this is a kind of green perfume. Ah. Green, not, yeah, ah, no, okay. not, not, not that green, uh -huh, but um, it, it's the direction of it, and so it, it's well, not a bad perfume. It's a very good perfume, and it, it, it's, a, it's a strong perfume, and it's a well blended perfume. But it's nothing for me. I just wanted so, to find a DSH preference for you, but yes. that didn't work out. I need to continue searching. However, something I found for you, something that worked out for you, something that costed a lot of money and something I actually got, because once again, when Benny loves something, I really want to, yeah, to, 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 to have a round. Yes. And it's Benny, yes. your part, okay, your part. So, um, we save the best for yeah. last and by, most expensive Violeta, fragrance. By uh, Bottega Vareta. For their um, Parker Palladiana collection. To, to, to make the, the, to match the, the our, long our story today. short, Oh yeah. We we well, try. <laughs> <laughs> we saw it in the store. We sprayed a couple of perfumes of this. Oh, thank you. Yeah. A couple of oh. perfumes of this collection. Mm, it's um, like a truck, you guys. Then we, we went home. We didn't live together at this point. I went home. I put a blotter with this perfume on my desk in my room. I went to work in the evening, I came back and called Jana and said my no, no, room smells me, I so okay. I, I messaged, I didn't call. It smells so good. What is this perfume? Because we didn't uh, make a note on the blotters. And so I brought it to Jana and Jana smelled it and said, oh, I think it was this or that one. And then we went to the store again and then... <laughs> You go on, you go on. Okay, I will I correct was just, you later. I was just trying to, to make the story short, not correct. <laughs> it was not short at all. You know, if you push something <laughs> together... <laughs> if you're trying to, to, to uh, shorten something, yeah, yeah. sometimes you destroy the end and... Um, yeah, that may, maybe it's anyway, not right. Anyway, I was at home. Yes. Benny yeah. messages me yes. with a photo and they had blotters like this label in the okay. shop. So there was there was everything, I believe. I don't remember. But I was like, okay, it's Violetta. And I started Googling, okay, I just wanted to order it. And then 260 and I was like, not bad. <laughs> Benny, your taste is pretty much top notch. But uh, yeah, I got a great deal, 20% off. Surprise Benny, he opened it on camera. Check out that video. But yes. this fragrance, I don't um, 
take it away from him. He's going through it. I was like, yeah, nah, whatever, just enjoy because this is a, like it's another musky violet perfume similar to Fleur de Patchouli. If you're looking for something that goes at least in that direction but is more affordable, check out that one if it's still available. But you guys, this perfume, it's whole other level. Yes. Soft, delicate, not in your face at all. But captivating, truly addictive. I yes. love it so much on venue. The, yeah, the, the, this it's, is, it's his signature is, scent. It's super. Um, the longevity is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. You, you spray it today and you smell it a week. That's true. Oh, That's, well, next yeah, day at least. It, 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 at least next Three day days. and I gave it to him because I knew that he loves violet so that's one of your favorite uh, notes but in here we have a totally different violet scent than we typically do in other fragrances and yeah there is something very I would say essential about it maybe it's mask I don't know but there is something about it that is just fantastic and Benny wears pretty often more for special occasions but yeah, it has been, it has been in your collection for years, so not bad. And uh, yeah, it's your signature scent. Now, anytime I smell it, I know Benny somewhere. Um, yeah. <laughs> People at work like it too. Really? Yes. Yeah, everybody, like yes. you guys. If you have money and you want to splurge on something, it's a great collection. But for me, like for our taste, like we can speak only for you know our preferences. It's a fantastic perfume. And it's matching. Thank you, Zan. Thank you. And it, it, it's matching. It's my new outfit that just got ruined. Ah, here. Yes. This is up to you. Can I just in order to see? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that shimmer under? Fucking fucking sick. But as you can see, guys, that was all. The shelf is empty now. And uh, yeah, let us know in the comments if you counted how many fragrances Benny actually has currently in his perfume collection. Of course, it was not completed because we missed a few, I guess, from way back in the days. Yes. But maybe we can talk about them in the next video together. So just let us know if you have any topic on your mind that uh, you would like us uh, to discuss and uh, we can do that. Maybe talk about his signature scents or whatever. I will work on the upgrade of your fragrance collection. I know you just want to wear the ones you have, but yeah, I love to bring in some new stuff. Um, thank you so much for being here. It was thank a pleasure to, to film with you. I hope you will be a more frequent guest. And if you enjoyed it today, please give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment below because Benny always reads them. And yeah, we have a fun filming together. So we hope you had fun watching us. And uh, that was all for today's video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and you can follow me on my social media to stay in touch. And yeah, we'll see each other next one really soon. Thank you Bye, guys. guys. Bye.